Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back to the day two. So this is no more the orientation and first hour. This is our day two. Now, uh, first things first, what is it that we're going to cover in day two? I think yesterday's day one was, I hope it was a good session in terms of what we're going to do, how the program is going to work and so on. But primarily the fact that it was more of a motivational session for you, right? Uh, here's the training content team that we wanted to look at. And I kind of kept 15 minutes for each of them. It's a lot of conceptual learning than anything else. Since we didn't really do too much in day one, there's a lot to catch up, but I think we'll have enough time. So I'm not worried about it. So let's go through this section of things first, and then we'll get to the other things. All right. Uh, but before we get started, let's talk about a few things that we need to do. So this, let me save it off. So here we are, so this is one, this is the other, and all right, so this is what we wanted to cover in day one, and then we also have a little bit of day two that we'll try and get to, but again, learning is most important for us, uh, schedule, that's fine, we'll catch up. That is the reason we have 90 minute sessions rather than just a one hour session, just in case we go over our scheduled time. All right. Some of this concepts team, just because they're not through a presentation or PowerPoint anymore, it's all going to be on a text document or on the application or using drawings. Um, it'll get split into multiple sessions. It's not going to be that we do everything in one session. All right. So this is supposed to be the day two agenda. So we'll try and see how we do it. But before we get there, let's talk about some uh, specific points. So you all got access to watch the videos. I'm assuming yes, right? There's no access right now, but I think it'll be put very soon. Every day, what we will have, the videos are going to be placed in these respective pages seven sessions seven pages okay if we need to do an eight session we will add it up here so the day one that we did is going to be here the day two that we're doing right now this is actually day two team remember that is going to be out here uh, so if day two is here there's no video yet once we're done with this session maybe a three four hours time it will get uploaded out there so if we're going to put the day two here any questions that we have during the session q and a for today's session should be put over here the reason is very simple team when you put it on go to webinar and see since we have a large group it is tough for me to really handle them so you will need to start putting your questions as and when we go about the topics for that specific area out here Okay, that way, even when you go back and start practicing and keep reviewing what we're doing, you'll start doing it. So this is right now day two schedule. This is the day three. Day one was like motivation and program overview. And it's good to be motivated team, amazingly, because without motivation, we won't take a step. Something has to trigger that, and that's what we're trying to focus on. So right now, um, I see this. Let me see. Okay, tuck, tuck, tuck. next question. Next point that I wanted to make is third, Interact. So most of you would have got the access to Interact as an application that you can log in and start looking at. There are two ways you will get any communication that we do team. First is through email and the mobile app so in the email you will find the links to the mobile app that you can download from play store and the apple store and you need to take that from there okay right now as i see there is not everyone who's registered 
So I'm going to put the link here so you all can do. So if I look at the courses, uh, there are 182 people registered. But in this session right now, there are 370 people. So there's a big difference. So for you to register, here is the link. ACT7 has free training, generate link, copy to clipboard, and here you go. So each of you need to go there and register. Make sure you register there. Very simple form, and it will give you access to all the communication. Okay, so make sure you register that. It will tell you how to do it, the app download and so on. What else is there? Um, as of now, I think this is good. The q and I spoke, Interact I spoke, where you can watch the videos. Any files and documents created from the training will be shared at the end. These are documents in progress or work in progress. So there's no point in daily for me to share these things with you. So every other day, uh, I'll kind of take it and put it in Google Drive. At the end of the training, we'll create a bunch of files that we've created in the session and we will put it there. All right. Now, fifth thing is we need to divide into teams. The challenge for me to do this right now is I do not know out of these 380 people who are there right now, how many of you are really serious to take this on an ongoing fashion? So rather than dividing you into 10, 15, we may put you into 20 to 30 people per team. So Manoj is in fact there with me on this session as an organizer. Manoj, you will need to uh, maybe look at the participants from today's session, uh, the time zone, and then we'll be able to divide. So what we will do is, Manoj, we'll send a notification to the people who registered here to interrupt and ask them to fill out the where they come from, which state, um, which coast, and so on. And then we can start sending them the notifications. All right? Um, about what teams and so on. But don't be in a hurry. The, even the practice project won't start immediately. So we'll give you a practice project, and then we'll go to the other things. All right, team. So any specific questions that are critical for me to handle, let me know. Anything that you believe that my team can do it, do that first. Do not write to me or tell me in this session right now. Write to learn at itlearn.com. If you believe there's a question that only I can handle it, definitely tell me. Or if it is something that you have as a technical issue or administrative thing, just reach out to our team. Fair enough? So I don't think we have um, any other thing. So one person says, I'm not able to do something on iPhone 5S. Someone has an interrupt app download issue. Uh, someone sees screen is black. I have missed yesterday's session. So these are things that you should take with my team, please, offline. Okay? All right. So now let's get into the topic team. What is software testing? Why is QA important? Why is QA evergreen? And can you do it? Can you do actually be a good tester? This is very critical team. So let's talk about this. I'm going to save these in a subfolder in my desktop. Because ACT seminars free training. So this is day two agenda. And then all right. So what is software testing and why is it essential? Let's look at it this way. Very simple. The simplest example is um, and again, this is not something that I come prepared with, but the imagination and visual visualization is very critical team. And that's how I think that I kind of pass my message. But let's say that today I create a medicine. It's like, for example, Tylenol. All right. It takes away your pain. All right. I created it. Would you want to try it for me, please? You want to try it and see if it works?
<laughs> you don't want to do it, right? Okay. Let us say uh, that I have built an amazing amusement park called Contrin. Okay. A new amusement park. And I have a new ride. I call it a uh, new ride called Ghost Ride. Okay. It's amazing, very thrilling. Do you want to be the first person to get onto it? Again, it's it's tough, right? You don't want to put yourself to test something absolutely new. And these are life-threatening things. Absolutely fine. How about Hyperloop team? How many of you heard about Hyperloop? Hyperloop, right? That's called Hyperloop, right? Um, do you want to write on it first? Who's created this Hyperloop team or who's working on it? Who's created this, guys? Who created this? Tesla. Tesla is the guy who made whatever. Is like I think is is a famous scientist who died, who passed away. Yes, Elon Musk, and he is the founder of Tesla. You know what he did earlier and SpaceX right now. Are you aware that he did also PayPal? He was one of the co-founders of PayPal, which got bought over by eBay. So team, stay in the conversation. For all those of you who are trying to deviate me with questions not related with this, you're going to lose your points. Stay with my conversation. You have to put your questions in the Q&A section. Anything else, please take it offline with the team. All right. Now, would you want to be the first one to write it? Maybe. Why? Because you believe, you trust that they do well. And these could be very amazing. How about if I give you iPhone 8 and say, do you want to try? Will you do it? Yes. Shilpi, you're already writing your questions. Uh, Ume, you're already writing your question. Okay. All right. Great. Now, let's say you, I give you the iPhone 8. Now, here's the catch. Okay. And you try it as the test user. And you like it. Great. If you don't like it, what will happen? The brand will lose its value. They will get devalued. And you will give a bad, uh, you know, word of mouth publicity. And the company cannot risk it. It's got nothing to do with the fact that, um, you know, you got it for free or anything. You get it, even this training is free, right? Just because it's free does not mean you'll give a good or bad review. What you experience is what you experience. You are the user. The user needs to have a great product or service. I go to a restaurant every day, let's say. And seventh day, one of the waiter was rude at me. That time I'll go into Yelp and I'll scream. And that's not right. Okay. So where does all this start from? Where does anything start from, team? Everything starts from something we call as a pain. All right. It starts with a pain. And then comes a thought that I need to do something about it. And then comes that, can I find a solution to it? And then comes the actual implementation of that solution. And then comes the result. Very simple. Again, another example. Let us say I have knee pain. I just got a knee pain team. Maybe on a scale of 1 to 10, if I go to emergency, they'll keep me waiting for 4 hours and they'll say, what is the rate of your pain, level of your pain on 1 to 10? I'll say 5. He says, you know what, take the sign go home, sleep. So, I will not go immediately to a doctor when I have a pain. Not immediately. I'll see, you know what, something small, it'll go away, it'll go away. It's a regular thing, let's not worry. And then the pain persists over a period of time. 
then the thought comes i think i should do something about this it's been there for over a week now one of the first things the doctors will ask is how long has the pain been there how much is the pain at so everything's going to start with a pain team then a thought then a solution then an implementation and the result so any project that you see be it in it or non it starts with a pain that becomes kind of a need over a period of time all right yes you're right it the pain becomes a thought that i think i should solve this then it becomes a need and then a solution and so on even a small thing could be a painting for example the seat that i'm sitting in is a pain so either i'll go get it fixed or i'll go buy a new thing that's where requirements come from and then there is someone may be ready to solve the problem for us all right so every project starts with what team it starts with a pain and then comes all the way to requirements all right somewhere here between the pain and need the requirements get clear i need a specific thing now let's take an example i'll give you a case study and i think we will use this application for a lot of it the reason i'm doing is this note this thing ps 7 hours too short for us to master a new app or functionality one okay second is we need to spend quality time in learning the core of the training which is any odd in this case it is any odd and that and once you learn any odd the results are going to come so keep this in mind the case study that i want to put forward to you is this how many people do i have okay one second team i just want to make sure oops attend a list i don't want to make it visible to everyone team because the reason is a lot of times i've seen other students complaining that uh, you know someone else is trying to reach out to them and so on karthik is a trainer all right where did the problem start for karthik i have a lot of problems a lot of issues but the pain that i had was communication how i was doing emails or calls or i'm trying to send a facebook or twitter or a linkedin message and everything has some issue or the other emails bounce back or they're going to spam or you know they don't get read calls sometimes are come at wrong time the students don't like it facebook is too crowded whatsapp i can send but my number has to be in your uh, phone skype is a good way but i can't create a skype and add like you know 10000 people into it so everything has some kind of an issue so team let me take a quick break and tell this once and all for everyone the questions and comments that are coming out from this group have to be relevant to the topic of what we are discussing if you're going to try and ask me a question that is not relevant i will need to take you off this team you're deviating me team please do not do that i've told very clearly at the beginning that anything unrelated to the topic of discussion keep it away anything related with the topic of the discussion put it in the day 2 q and a section okay where you have typed right now share that is where you type your questions and you will only be in listening mode all of you i'm not going to unmute you at the moment right just because i want to i ask questions correct i want to look at the audience response also and when i see something i want to solve their problem i see something genuinely i want to solve but the deviates me team that's the reason yes so when i ask questions absolutely you can answer out here any questions that are coming up like more technically then we'll go there it's still a more like a case 
So then I thought I need to reach them. I need to reach my students. Why? Yes, I need to market my courses. I need to tell them, hey, I'm starting a new training. Why don't you join? Try it out. Or I want them to say, guys, I've started the training. Where are you? Or after the session, I want to send them a link and say, this is important. Watch this video. Or do's and don'ts. This is some things. Something would. This was my pain team. And this pain happened over seven years. And then I wanted a solution for it. I went into the market and I saw that there really was not a great solution available. So what did I do team? I wrote everything down and I drew this kind of a picture. This was my problem. All right. See, see how it comes and everything. Believe me, it will come like this. Any project that you go, here is how you have to understand the concept. So we're going to use Interact a lot for our learning purpose and why we're doing it. I had a pain. What was that? Can you see this image and try and make the pain out? Just look at this image and try and read for 30 seconds. What does it say to you? On the left side, we have the trainer. And to say that they're a trainer, we did two things. One, we put a board out here and I put we put a stick in the hand. Okay, that's the representation. And then the trainer is trying to announce something. Broadcast, like one way. Not that I'm trying to have a conversation. I'm trying to pass a one-way communication. And I see there's a huge wall. Facebook. Twitter, WhatsApp, email, text messages, phone calls, everything are kind of bouncing back. And I want it to go to the audience. And the solution is Interact. All right. Interactive app for training. So this was my solution. I searched for the market. I didn't find it. I said, I'm going to go build it. And I started building this application team almost a year back. We started building it and honestly because this we've been using it internally but it turned out to be much bigger in terms of scope and potential than we initially thought i think it's coming out well and then i wrote c what we wish as a student okay and what we typically get simple things like you know what was your website url oh i didn't get your email i didn't know there was a demo all these statements come to me so then that is the pain and we try and create a solution for it. Now, these things, when they come up, we need to ensure that one, they do what it is supposed to do. All right. They have to work in the right way. Second, they have to really be of good quality all right third is they can be relied upon and if you look at whatsapp for as an example so many users working so many people have got accounts so they have to make sure everything's running perfectly even and an hour of outage there is big money for them that means that they have to be properly tested under various scenarios if not users will use it once and will have no time to go back again and that's the reason this becomes very important any application that is developed anything that we do if I create a medicine, I need to test it somewhere, like a formula, like a board on some kind of a non-human species. I need to do that. Amusement park, I need to do dry runs with, uh, you know, crash, uh, what is that, crash dummies and so on to see how it reacts, how it behaves. Same thing, team. even Hyperloop, I'm sure Elon Musk will do something about it before he'll put humans, real humans into it. Right. So this is very important. And that is what primarily software testing. So as long as there is pain, 
there is going to be testing of it before it reaches user now why is testing important team why is it important because the requirements that we give is usually done through an email a document through image and through some uh, you know use cases and so on and this specific image if i say this is my pain and i need something to solve this and i give it to a development team and say can you develop this for me what will come out team they'll come up with multiple options but i have a specific pain i have a very specific need i visualize that this is how it's going to look at the end of it i am the business owner team sometimes end users can be anyone and sometimes they're solving the pain business owner slash users has the pain slash user so these are the ones who are most critical and they will give us the requirements what it is then what happens next team and now let's get into more it world we're talking about applications over the web or desktop or mobile apps whatever be it what happens next they have to give high level requirements okay they have to give us a high level requirement i want something that will communicate with my trainees i would like to have a system through which i can send a message to my trainees and it should go on their mobile devices as an alert it should also go on their emails that is a high level requirement and i'll not get into all the formal documentation team there is like you know a technical design there's a functional uh, requirement specification document there's a system requirement document there's bunch of documents that happen but i want you to understand the core in a very layman manner once you get this concept then everything will become easy so we give a high level requirements who gives it the user slash business owner and then someone has to analyze the requirement who will they be team business analyst or what we call as the business people who can understand what is required they're not the typical developers or testers or project managers they just more like translators who are good listeners who know documentation well they can put all the requirements in proper shape that a different audience can understand so these are the typical bsvc and the bas have to have some kind of a domain or the functional skill apart from documentation skills how do they document it clearly so what will the bas do they will create a functional requirement document or a functional requirement specification that will say exactly what is required in this it is going to give us the details that this specific new application called interact should be able to one send emails to a uh, you know different to one class within a training organization and it will say that it also has to go as a mobile alert and it will tell us what it should do and what it should not do okay this a ba will create and they will pass it on to a project slash program manager depending on the size of it and they will sit with their technical team and come up with a what we call as a technical design document and in today's world you'll see a lot of small things getting added in each of this process team 
And a technical design document or a TD or TDD will basically say what it should look like, what technology we will use, what where we will host it, how the fields will look, how the UI should look, how the functional flow will be, and all that. They will come up with this detailed analysis. And sometime we'll take a look at some of these documents also for your idea. But always remember team, the core and the reason we are here is for any art. You are here to become an any art certified tester. Never take your goal away from that. I am not trying to make you a super manual testing engineer or an expert on Selenium or QTP. It is all about any art for us, but then you'll understand why it's important. So now to do this, they put all these things. Then what comes up team after this? So once the design is done, that this is how I visualize, it is how the screen will be and so on. Then the developers will start doing the coding, right? The developers have to code and create the functionality. And then finally, the users can use it. And but since what we've seen earlier, there are high chances that things can fail anywhere, we go about saying, that we need something in between that is very critical. Testing needs to be done by QA and automation engineers. And then there is something we call as UAT. What is user UAT team? User acceptance testing. That is performed by the users, business user. So a development team has been working in developing it. Testers have tested it. Now a UAT will be done by the business owner slash end users. And finally, the product is launched. Okay. Now, with this kind of a very logical flow, why should still there be a question or a need for testing? Why team? Why should still we need testing? Yes, and we call this as deployment or move to live or sometimes we also say move to production um, Jitin, guys if you have a question just put it if it's relevant I'll definitely answer for quality we need testing to I understand for quality check but why do we still need it team to give the best is intent to release the bug free product is intent to check the quality is intent but if we have such a nice process why do we still need it? Gives confident, yes. Customer satisfaction, yes. That is the outcome. But where do you think it will fail? Okay, very simple thing. I am at point A. And I want to go to point B. They are only one meter away. Do you really need a lot of planning? No, right? But let's say the same point A to point B is about uh, 100 kilometers away. What will you do then, team? You'll use Google Maps, right? Now, let's say the same thing is uh, 1 million kilometers away. Like, I don't know if it's what's the thing that is a million kilometers away or uh, miles away. To go from this point A to point B, it's usually a straight line team. <laughs> to go from this point A to point B, there could be multiple options. Too many. Some users may use an option that is not typically, which also means regularly used. 
and they will think differently. They'll say, you know what, I have to take a pit stop here. I need to get off the freeway, put some gas. I need to go service the vehicle and get onto it. The same thing here, like NASA has to plan or even any kind of a space organization that we see have to plan it very, very well. Even a small deviation will land them hundreds of thousands of miles away somewhere else. Correct? There has to be amazing amount of planning. And the biggest fact that humans can make simple errors. How many of you have ever still using GPS and voice reminders have lost your way? We do, right? We still do, yes? Now, how many of you are aware of Google Car Waymo, right? What if Waymo does it? Or the Tesla car, Tesla Model X, if that does it, or Model S, I'm sorry, or Model X. That's a problem. Humans can tend to make errors because we're not like machines. We have distractions. We could be in a conversation. We could be, you know, thinking about something. So humans, wherever humans are there, team, errors can happen. Our mind will think a thousand things at the same time and we do it. So a business user will make one error and will say, oops, I made an error. I didn't say like this. In fact, this brick should not be falling. This is okay. That is okay. It will come later. So that is called as requirement changes can happen. <coughs> All right. There can be requirement changes from the business owner or business user. And then the BA out here who's creating the FRDFRS has understood one thing differently because at the time that he or she is writing or listening or looking at the requirements was thinking something else and didn't properly do it. A project manager has understood it differently. A technical team has done it differently. So one problem here, let's say there are two problems here and then there are two problems here, two in each, two in each, two in each, two in each, okay? How many combinations will be there team? Just say two times two into two into two into two. Just two I'm saying. Two star, two star, two star, two star, two star, two. 128 already. Right? And you add another two, and another two, and another two. Why? It's not one person team, right? And then finally you add with 20 developers there. <coughs> so this is why with all the things that we do, there is a high possibility that errors can happen. Right? While we continue to evolve and develop a system and methodology that brings the best quality without testing. Testing is absolutely essential. You know, one of the reasons that Interact we still facing a few issues. We took four developers and were developing it. You know how many test engineers were testing it team? Here's the thing. I'll give you an actual life story. It's nothing different. Interact. Four developers, of course there was lead and this and this, spent three months on it. So what does it become? 12 person months. Same thing, I had five QA engineers spend <coughs> five months on it. 25 person months. It is still having many defects. And for one specific rule or one specific reason, the permutations and combinations of how the end user will use the product tool software 
is yeah, i don't know is unlimited or too large that is the reason team and hence what it means is for us to be well prepared but still guaranteeing a hundred percent quality is extremely tough six sigma team a lot of you heard it okay so i am a six sigma green belt certified and black belt trained from a sales point of view while i was in sales career doing this was not easy because you rarely find process or activities it goes more with development and delivery teams but i had the passion to do it and i did it how to improve the um, uh, pre-sales life cycle let's say requirements come how can we quickly look at the requirements and submit a proposal back how can we quickly respond back and instead of one week how can we do it in one day that's how i could do the project on it it says 3.4 defects are allowed in do anyone know the answer a million opportunities one million what opportunities of possibilities team if I have a process, very simple, this is how it is, has 100 steps in the first phase, followed by 100 steps in the second phase, followed by 100 steps in the third phase. Okay, so how many, this is 10,000, 100,000, million team? That's 1 million. So when such a process is going, and if you're only producing 3.4 defects in it, then it is Six Sigma certified or it is following Six Sigma standards. All right. That is the kind of quality that we're still trying to do. But this kind of uh, emphasis, there will never be a dearth of quality assurance. And that's what we're trying to talk in terms of the importance of why testing is there today and will continue to be there for a long time. Do you understand the team? Now, can you do it? Don't even worry. Can you guarantee 100%? Not necessarily. But if you can say this product is 99%, 95%, or even 99.99%, depending on the expectations, tested, then that's good. How can we specifically put our emphasis and say that, yes, how can you certify team? 99% good quality. Out of all the possible ways that a user can use, we could test 99% of the scenarios. And so this is the combinations. And what are these called then? These are called the test scenarios. And this also becomes some things sometimes called as test cases now uh, i think we're going there so we'll talk a little bit about this team i'm kind of going to go into a little bit of test cases how do we put them and so on and then i'll talk about agile and waterfall models as well okay so we've talked about some simple roles qa ba management users stakeholders and all that i'm going to cover a little bit here and then come back to agile and waterfall models okay so test cases or test scenarios. Now, what is a test case? I can go and give you the Wikipedia definition and let's look at it actually. What is a test case? A case that sets a precedent for other cases involve the same question of law. My goodness, how will I do this? Okay. It looks like a coded message, like someone wants to actually confuse us intentionally. A test case in software engineering is a set of conditions under which a tester will determine whether an application software system or one of its features is working as it was originally established for it to do. The mechanism of determining whether the software program or system has passed or failed such a test is known as a test oracle. Wow. In some settings, an oracle could be 
requirement or use case while in others it could be a heuristic it may be it may take many test cases to determine that a software program is considered oh my goodness i will never learn this web just imagine in the first simplest things call it test case is this way maybe if i go to youtube i'll find something but who will i trust on youtube how many videos will i go through before i see it and let's say the user has only done one it's a challenge so don't worry test case very simple team one user process with start to finish that is performed on the application like what let's say i have to go and do some withdrawal atm withdrawal okay how do i write a test case for this i say one go to atm second insert card third i will say no what i'll just take this off this file insert card i'll say next is select account type and then um enter amount to withdraw and then take card back go home is this correct team <laughs> two things we totally missed so this is a test case called atm withdraw all right <laughs> you won't believe when we have a large audience what are the kind of details we got very few people have forgot the most important thing team <laughs> some people are saying you didn't select language i didn't enter pin and so on man at least take your money right <laughs> <laughs> okay enter pin <laughs> withdraw and then collect money if you have time count it take card back and go home <laughs> all right and now someone is saying open the door first there you go first get out of your house na so do you see the permutations combinations of what can happen just imagine a banking cycle and how many steps have to happen in the pack if i right now just for example i'm not open my bank account but i go to bankofamerica.com okay it asked me to sign in small business or whatever so only two steps go to bank of america put my username put my password and click sign in right and it should open it it should go there for me but then there's so many steps happening in the background there's so much so guys reason if you do well you are in a evergreen business it is like healthcare tomorrow java may die believe me sap may die testing won't ever die all right because while there is still pain in the world there will be business owners who want to like me invest money and get the pain solved and someone will not understand something in between everything will go in a different direction i'm trying to build a road to san francisco and it will land me in vegas that's what will happen there is going to be an evergreen market all right so now this is good thing what happens typically in a dev world one project manager one business analyst four developers one sql or back end or data dba okay two testers right and um, who else one scrum master for this i would rather have the project manager be the scrum master for this because very small team okay so typical architect yeah and one of the developers has to become the architect so again if you look at a team there's so many things that happen but i've not giving you 
the depth of it. I'm trying to give you the reality of what's happening. Why? Once you know the concept and the fact of why this is important, everything is going to fall in place. Save as day two notes. Okay, this is what is going to happen. Now, one of the typical problems team that a tester faces, what does a tester face? One has to convince the developer that the Eureka movement was true. What do I mean? They found an issue and they need to convince the developer that it is correct. The developer is going to argue back and say, boss, it's not a defect. I don't see it. I'm not able to see it in my system. How can you see it? He'll say, show me. Show me how. Prove it. Step by step. Okay. And you send this information and say, this is what I did. All right. To the developer. Will they agree team? They'll say, okay, I went to the ATM, I inserted card, I entered PIN, select account type, enter amount to withdraw, collected money, taking card back home, I went home. I'm good. Right? I'm good. But this is show me the way. What is missing here, team? That, why is the developer seeing something different than the tester seeing something different? Now, developer will say, okay, show me the screenshot. And here we forgot one more thing. Take card back, take receipt, and then we show the developer the receipt. Cause, go to which ATM, insert what card, what pin did you put, what account did you select, how long did you take to finish this, how much amount did you try and withdraw? What is your limit actually? How much money came out? You took the card back, that's fine. Money and card, you know, we're taking it. And the receipt, what does it say? There are multiple parameters. You need to know under which environment was it tested. You need to know what data was used to test it. Then we'll go back and go back. So I'm one of these poor two test engineers. Okay. And I'll go back. You know what? I'm facing a lot of issue with this developer. This person is absolutely atrocious. He's got no logic. Absolutely stupid on earth. Worst developer I've ever seen. Can you please look into this and tell me I got one more Eureka moment where I found a defect. Before I go there, please can you check once for me? you QA guy is much better, but again, he's not seeing the other person's view. And they will say, okay, you know what? Uh, why don't you enter the pin here? How? Ah, okay, good idea. So we still, what it means, we are humans at the end of it. And we will continue to make the things go wrong. And that is the reason we have to be more planned team. How do we do that? We try and be as clear as possible. We need some perfect documentation in some way that we can trace back and reproduce the defect. How many times it has happened to you that we have an issue we call technical support or we get the technician home and just when they pick up the phone and we say what the issue is, it's solved. <laughs> right? So this is what happens. And we need to kind of have this preparation, preparedness in front of us. Because testing has been there as long as invention has been there. Right from the first time, fire was not invented, it was discovered. But maybe one of the first inventions was a wheel. You know how much testing was would have been done. Someone would have started with a square wheel and realized that it is too slow and bumpy. We need something better. And they, then they said, maybe a round is better. <laughs> so it takes time, team, and it has evolved. So now we are better at it. How can we do a better job? 
the better job is to prepare and make a much more structured way of approach all right so how do we do it i'll say first test case right i said test case atm withdrawal you know what let's go to something that we may stay with for the next few days interrupt so i am a trainer here no no I logged in as an administrator you'll all not be able to do that same but it doesn't matter did you see how i invited the trainees team how i got this link and i asked you all to register copy to clipboard and put it here can we all take 10 minutes and try and okay this i'll put it here write a test case for this and I'm fine if you're wrong about it. You saw my steps. And I'll repeat it once again. Let me start from the beginning. Just see what I'm doing. What page is not found, Rehman? Which page? The URL page? Report. Okay. I'll go to a private window and put this. Let's see. There you go. See, now you're reporting a defect and I'm the developer and I'm saying I can see it because it just said page not found. You never gave me a URL, never told me where you went. You just said page not found. That doesn't help. Right? You see, we have to be very clear. Our communication has to be top-notch team. Remember that. All right. Let me show you what I'm trying to do here. Let's go back to Interrupt. Where is it? Okay. Um, interrupt.com. If I log out, I will not remember the password. Okay. So, I go to Interrupt.com slash app. Now, here is the requirement I'm giving you team. A workflow. And you need to write the test cases for it. Use your own creativity and do it. Out of the audience, I will randomly pick three or four of you and look at it. Don't put it on chat. Do it at your end. You want to write it in a notepad, in a Word doc, or an Excel, your call. How can we write it? I'm going to take a few of them and I'll look into it. Okay. So I've logged in. Then what did I do? I went to invite trainee. Then I selected the course. And I clicked on generate link. I copied it to clipboard and came copy to clipboard then I pasted it in go to webinar and I sent it to you all right that is what I did team can you try and do the same as a test engineer just as an exercise and then you will understand what can we do better around it so take 10 minutes and try and do this place I'm gonna Pause the recording till then and I will stay on mute. Yes, now, right now. I want you to do it right now. Too. And those of you cannot take a five minutes break, take water and come back. Those of you do it. Once you're done, put a message. I'm done in the order of who's done first. I will go a few of you and look at them. But do note the ones who say that I've done it, completed it. will have to. I'll make them the presenter. They have to share the screen and walk me through it. They can, I will also unmute them. Team, none of you have the application access. I'm not giving it yet to anyone. I just did a walkthrough. You saw those few steps that I did. Remember those steps and put what you remember. That's it. All right. For the interest of everyone, I'll show you again. Okay. I'll start with. Log out. Do not put anything in the chat team. Please do it in a document. I'll make you the presenter. You tell me how you arrived at that. Okay, now. Log in. Invite trainee. Select the course. Generate link. 
Why you didn't copy to clipboard? Come okay. Copy to clipboard. Copy to clipboard. Paste it where I need. That's it. Do not put anything in the chat. Put it in a document at your end and show me in the next five, six minutes. In the meanwhile, I'll just leave this out here like this screen. So you can see the screen. And it's 7.36 team. 7.45. Let's like take a look. All right, team. So a lot of you are done. So, and again, I'm sorry, just that I'm seeing a lot of other messages also. Um, but then 370 people. So I'll try and put some method to this madness by trying to do a group learning thing. That's what we're trying to do out here. Uh, Harshada Javedkar, you're the one who responded first. Then we have Shika Sen. Then we have Itisha Jain. Priyanka Sonparote. Kaitri Ramakrishna, Patyusha, Romi, Rashmi Rati, Jitendra Kumar, Amit Talib, Morini KG Arloin. All right, so we have a few of them. I'll start with uh, Harshada Javedkar because she was one of the first ones who responded. So, Harshada, you ready? I'm just going to search for your name in this hundreds here. There I found you. I'm going to make you the presenter. You will get a kind of a reference on your screen that will let you kind of share your screen. And I think you can also, at any time you're ready, you can start try and speak up. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm sharing my screen. But the thing is, I thought I'll be working on your, um, on your screen, right? No, 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 no. You have to write these things at okay. your end. You wrote it somewhere, I guess, right? Yeah, I just wrote it in my notepad. In your... <laughs> <laughs> Not on the system. You didn't do it on the system? Uh, no, I just was uh, running on my iPad and uh, writing it down quickly. In uh, fact, while you while you doing it, I was just uh, writing all my steps. I see. Okay, all right. So, what I was telling... See, look how much communication gap can happen even with this because I'm saying it you've assumed it's that way it could be my fault i would have said specifically write down this way and so on so uh, uh, because Karthik, i was a little confused when it is saying trainer's email so quite obvious i'm not a trainer so Shada, um, simple. you just have to follow the instructions i told you you don't have access to be a trainer or an administrator right now okay second yeah. i just showed you something and for that, what you saw, not by doing it in the application. You understand? A lot of mm -hmm. You're just supposed to visualize what you saw that I showed and then try and do it. It okay. is luxury. If a client gives you access to the application or a requirements document and so on, right? In the real projects, it is amazing, beautiful. Lot of times the client will call and say, Hey guys, this is my requirement. They will not even give you a walkthrough. So it is our imagination and creativity to come up with the scenarios accordingly. All right. Now, right. okay, thank you. Again, good job. I'm glad you're the first one to respond. And um, next time we do this, do it on your system so you can easily show us. Okay. Okay. Thank you so yeah. much. All right, let's see. Shika Sen, are you ready for it? Can I try and make you the presenter? If you have any issues, let me know. Anyone else in the top, if you have an issue, let me know, please. Okay, you're ready, Shika. So I'm honoring the people who have first said yes. So I'm going with that order team. I have 371 members in this training, so I have to kind of follow the system. And the, the option, the, the, what we're looking at is not that how do we do it ourselves. You're also learning from others. All right, Shika, I made you the presenter right now. And I guess we can hear you too. Hello. Yeah, hi, Karthi. Hello, how are you? Uh, yes, I'm just, yeah, I'm doing good. How are you? Good, thank you. 
Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Go on. So I have written these steps as you have navigated through the interact site and followed these steps. So I just went uh, at that time and written these test steps. Mm -hmm. So let's see. So let's first we'll. No, no. We can all read yes. it because so you don't have to tell it us. Okay. 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 Are you mm -hmm. all seeing this? And Shika, good job. Very good. This is exactly what we need to put. Thank you, Dad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Navigate.com. Enter registered username and password and click on login. Click on invite trainee links. Link, not links. It's a singular. Yeah. Select mm -hmm. the post from drop down list. Click on generate link. Click on copy to clipboard. Paste it where required and send invites. Perfect. Very good. Now, mm -hmm. this is okay when it comes to some, this, but there are areas where it may fail team. First of all, we don't navigate to interact.com. If you go there, you will not see a username and password but fields there. Mm -hmm. You have to go to interact.com slash app. Okay. What you've written is perfect, amazing. But the small attention to detail things is what makes a humongous difference to us. Okay. Enter registered okay. username and password and click on login. Click on invite trainee link. Very nice. This is good. Shika, good job. Now I'll, I'll I'll take over in the next five ten minutes and I'll show you how we can further improve this. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Who do we have? Wow, there are hundreds of you. Oh my goodness. How do I? will get to do everyone if I can. Okay. Uh. Let me mute you, Shika. Okay. Itisha Jain went offline. She was third in line, but she is disconnected. So, Priyanka, can I make you the presenter? Son Parote? Can I do that? I'm assuming I can. So, let me make you presenter and see if you can do that i want to see if anyone has come up with anything as a variations i've shown you a notepad um what's that shika also shown as a notepad this one priyanka we can see it we can see your screen but i don't think we can hear you yet but again hello? yes now we can hear you yeah, hi, hello hi, I hope you can see the notepad. Yes. I have uh, similar steps as Shrika. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, so what I uh, understood is you were seeing the details, the minor details, just click an app. Uh, but when I opened it, it opened like as an app itself. I mean, I don't know how to go back. I mean, click on this. Maybe it yes. still opens as an app. Yes. So I've written the steps from there. Yeah. What I like on this that you know is an improvement is that enter email mm -hmm. password click on login button you made as three different steps instead of one step yeah. that's good yeah but again okay. there can be more clarity so team yeah. that's good Priyanka again good job thank you so much thank you Karthik. yeah Priyanka can you go on mute at your end please I am not able to mute you from here sure thank you guys I think this Pratyusha was the last one and then or can I ask so I've sh someone is still speaking okay now we could all right but the team there are hundreds of you saying we're done but you all should be able to look at anyone who wants to show me something that is different okay Reena Mukha I'm trying to go to you first and then I'll get to Anudeep Pathuru, Neelima D, Yamini and you know you will be presently surprised that sometimes even I would learn some new things the way that some of you do it differently there's a lot of learning for us team wow there you go Oh my goodness, I'm, I'll pass out by looking at this now, Rina. This is too heavy for me. <laughs> okay. 
Right, Reena, can you try and unmute yourself and speak? Okay, there you go. You're now unmuted. Yes, hello, sir. This is the fastest test case document I could write in my life. And it is the second one. Wow. But you already have the template, which is looks amazing and very confusing. I'm lost already. Uh, no, again, good. Yeah. Great. I, I, the test ID, the precondition, the name, description, test steps, then the data. Obviously, I didn't have a lot of data, so I did not. This is the URL. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me, I don't know how to do this. Okay. And then the actual is expected and the actual. Okay. Now, let me ask you a question here. The column yes, B sir. is test case ID. Interrupt mm -hmm. A, interrupt B, interrupt C, interrupt D. So the four test cases, is it? Yes. I see. So I mean, there's a scenario that, that you wanted to send invites. That scenario, I've created four test cases. Mm. So can I execute test case C first in this format and then text case A and then B? No, right? Say again, I didn't. Can no, I? So the first thing, we have to open the URL. So that is the first test case. Okay. Uh, so obviously, there is no precondition for that. And the actual result is that the, uh, you know, test, uh, that page opens, home page opens. So that is the precondition for the second test case. Then we log in, we Re test log in. Okay. By valid username and password and then click, click log in. Then the username, password, uh, I mean, I didn't have it, so I just put stars. Correct. Then, sorry for the spelling mistake. Expected user should log in, user logins as desired. That is also passed. Exactly. Then obviously user is logged in now because that's the precondition. Then he sends invite uh, link. That is a test case name. So we do a test. Now? Say again. When did you write this? Just now because I wanted to show you. <laughs> so that was the fastest I could write. Amazing. Good job. And still you made only very few grammatical and spell errors. That's great. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> You already had the template. No, I, I yes, I had the template because I was practicing this morning. So I just, uh, you know. Excellent. So guys, if you look at it, that's a great job, Rina. Really good. Not only did she do something very quickly, which shows the passion, but at the same time, when I asked a question, she had an answer for it, and which is correct. And that's amazing. That's a great effort team. And that is why, uh, you know, this has to be done. But if I show this audience this document, right, they will really get confused if I did it, not you, Rina, if I did it. So I need to take that step back and come and come, try and come somewhere here where you are right now. Okay? Great job. All Thank right. you. You're welcome. Okay, who else, team? Who else is there who want to show me? Um, there's so many people. I really feel I really had all the time on earth to go through each and every one of you. Um, I'll do a random one. There's one more. Anudeep, I said. Anudeep Paturu. Paturu, sorry. If I spelled your name wrong. Um, and then I will go with my team. It's it's always interesting to see what others do team. Always. It's not always about ourselves. So let's see what Anudeep has got. There you go, Anudeep. Pooja Agarwal also want to show mine. I'll try. Wow. Uh, Anandip, can you unmute yourself? Let me try it from my end. Can you do it at your end again? Yes. Hi, Karthik. Hello. Hi. Hi. Karthik, this is Anandip here. Can you hear me? Yes, perfectly. Yeah. So, Karthik, I have written four test cases. First one is the positive and the remaining three are negative scenarios. Mm -hmm. So, what is the difference? You, positive and negative scenarios. Uh, first one is actually the uh, all the happy path and valid data which I entered to log in and then invite the trainee, and then I am verifying whether the trainee page is displayed, and then selected course, clicked on generate link, verify that the link is generated, and clicked on copy, click copy to clipboard button. No, no, no. And then verifying oh, that. The quick question. What is a positive yeah. scenario and a negative scenario? 
by definition positive positive scenario is like uh, entering with the valid data and verifying that the uh, cases are all happy path successfully executed mm -hmm. and negative one is like giving invalid data and making sure and and verifying the error pages and exceptions are displayed as expected right and good well said and team you all got it right that's the right explanation from a uh, you know you're trying your whole intent is to make the application fail that is your negative testing you want it to fail but when we do something crazy with the application from simple crazy to mega crazy how does the application still politely say oops something went wrong or you didn't do it correctly that is what it is okay positive scenario is a very casual walk in the right methodology and while you're doing it if there's an issue then that means that the core most important features are really not working all right good job good one anadeep so i'm looking at it and uh, yeah that's good select course from select course invite uh, so see look at the same thing so many variations do you notice team every human has a different style of doing it absolutely different and not a single one of us has done it the same way thank you anadeep i'll just um, make puja last one for the day puja kumar no puja agrawal sorry i'm sorry puja agrawal then i will try and do something from my end my philosophy in life is very simple team it is called as kiss kiss means keep it stupid simple it always has to be so easy and so detailed that anyone should be able to understand pooja agrawal i just made you the presenter and i also unmuted you please there was a little background noise but again see sir hello yes uh, sir here i have made two cases success case and one failure case and uh, sir uh, like uh, i will open the browser and uh, if yes, i give the correct username and password and i will be on on the on the uh, screen Uh, and if I give the wrong user password, then it it should come like please enter the correct username or password. Hmm. Okay. All right. Good job. Got it. We can be seeing it. So just like positive scenario, negative scenario. That I'm going to mention. Yes. Sir. It is talking about success case and a failure. Yes, sir. If the one is wrong, then what happens? What is expected? Okay. Okay. So good job. And this is fine too. exactly what simple and neat but the problem with this is when we go back to tracing or reproducing the defect and so on there is no certain way it is like go straight turn left then take right then left and then right how far is the first left is it first left or second left or third left or third right all those things have to be extremely clear team it is giving directions in such a way that a user will not fail always remember this if google map map gave you the instructions of how to go from point a to point b which will take different people in different way will it ever have become famous our test case should do the same there is no question or chance of doing it any way differently all right that is the depth when we start the session and again good job uh, puja very good job and i really like the spirit at which all of you have done this team this shows what you want to do how you want to learn and so on great job uh okay all right good job thank you puja Uh, there are so many more people i think i'll do for one more one more please um sarika brola i'm trying to randomly select team no specific logic to it sarika brola 
last one okay and then i think it's already time so i'll not take much time today but when we meet tomorrow at that time i will start with a better version of it and go from there all right hi karthik how are you good thank you uh well this is my screen mm -hmm. okay the first step navigate to the url www.interact.com uh, uh, slash app. Mm -hmm. Second is enter email or username in the username text box. Third step, enter a password in the password text box. Uh, click on login button. On the home page, navigate to the left pane of the window. Click on the invite trainee option. Page refreshes with invite code on the header. Mm -hmm. Click on the course drop down list. And, um, Select the appropriate course. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry? Yeah. We're looking at it. We're not reading it, and um, I, I, I think okay. very descriptive. Uh, click on login button. Uh, refresh page. Refreshes with the white code and header. Click on the course drop-down list. Yes. Click on generate link. Copy. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. Great. Good job again, Sarika. Thank you. Very good. Thank you for giving me this. Uh, oh, you're welcome. Opportunity. I'm glad I could do that. <coughs> um. Team, uh, thank you, Saika. I wanna definitely do one. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Itisha Jain, she got disconnected in between, and then she came back and she said, "Can I do it?" So I'll honor because she was third person to sell do it. And for a minute, I thought, you know, I scared Itisha out. That's why she kind of gave up and left. She's back, so I'll make her the presenter. Okay. Thank you, Saika. Itisha, okay. We can hear you, Itisha. Are you there? Can you try and speak up once for me? Hello, can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, so here is my screen. Yeah. Great. Hello. Okay. Fifth yeah. point. Yeah. So here is my screen. Otherwise, everything looks perfect. Uh, go to go to go to meeting application. Paste the link in chat and click send it to all participants. Okay, <laughs> that's funny. That's good. See, you know, there's one thing that Itisha did that no one else did it, please. Uh, in the fourth point, she said, select course, blah, 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 specifically. All right. Because let's say there are a dozen courses. I need to go and test for each of them if this is working. That is how the testing has to be done. All right. Good job. Thank you, Itisha. Thank you. Welcome. All right, team, that'll be good. I'm, I'm sorry, team, there's so many others still interested to show. But let me take back the presentation and show you one quick thing, and then we'll move on, OK? Now, when we come back tomorrow, team, here's what we're going to do. No one can see my screen. Where am I? Where am I? Here, my presenter, OK? So whatever I wrote here, correct, is not incorrect. It is fine. But here is how you have to remember the golden rule. When you write a test case slash scenario, even a robot should be able to execute. Remember that the robot has no AI. And what is AI team? Or even EI. What is EI? Or OI, I'll say. AI is artificial intelligence or original intelligence. Okay. So EI is emotional intelligence. That's different. Um, that is how you have to write team. That is the most important thing. You know, it should be such a way that a kid, a nine-year-old, can reproduce it. If any of you have kids, 
not a five-year-old, six-year-old, maybe a nine, 10, 11 year old or a 12 year old. Give it to them and ask them to do it. The same test case you wrote. The best way you can do is ask anyone around you. Hey, I wrote these steps. Can you try this and see if it works? Maybe if not on interact because it's not there, try it maybe do the same thing on the, um, just go to any or oh, any is not available for you. Just go to itln.com and try and use a login, anything. Or Gmail or Facebook or this one and ask them if they can see if it's working. Believe me, 95% of you will come back and ask you more questions. They should be no reason for any questions back to us. Got it? You'll become a super QA engineer when you find a defect, send it to the developer with the complete reproduction steps and that they will come and say, I agree. Thank you so much. I'll fix it. They should not come back and say it's not valid or I can't see it. I can't do it. There's no question. That is the level of clarity that we need to get to. And it is not my speech or I'm not sending a video or a voice. I have to document it and send it. And that's the power of documentation that we have to get to. Tomorrow when we start, I'm going to start with that. I'm going to show you that. Let's take a quick look at what we did so far today, what all we were supposed to do, and then we will get started tomorrow. Okay, there. We'll close this one. Let's take two notes. Agenda. So quick recap, team. So we did what is software testing, what is QA important, why is QA evergreen? Can you do it? Don't even doubt it. We will rock it. So this is also done. This we left. This We've done half of it, team. So we are going slow. Understanding defects, regression, and UI testing. This is easy. Building a more robust. So we're getting to this. And this will be interesting. Stay on, team. Tomorrow, it will be interesting. See, how do we go from this manual testing concept to automation testing? That's going to be super exciting. And that's where we'll get to tomorrow. Okay? I think we'll be able to cover most of it. All right, team, I hope you enjoyed it, all of you. Uh, day two for our training. See you back tomorrow. Same link, same session. All is going to be the same. More learning. Take care, everyone. Bye now. Take care, all. Thank you. Bye.